Morning, everybody. Welcome to our Sojourn online worship service. Today is uh, July 12, and this is the second Sunday of this month. Let's come together and let's join our hearts together in worshiping and praising the Lord today. Let us start our worship service with our statement of our faith. Let's start with the Apostles' Creed. And uh, I'm going to request everybody to unmute your microphone. No problem. It's okay. I'm going to ask you to unmute your microphone. Don't worry about feedback. I will just lower down my volume here. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> you can unmute your microphone. No problem. If your environment is not so noisy, so please unmute your microphone so we can hear one another. Let us all together recite the statement of our faith to start our worship service today. Everybody, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's worship the Lord and uh, let's sing him songs of praise and worship. As we start, let us sing. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sorrows, I'm trading my shame, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Trading my sickness, I'm trading my sickness, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying them down. For the joy of the Lord, we say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. I'm bred, I'm bred, but not crushed, persecuted, not abandoned. Struck down but not destroyed. I'm blessed beyond the curse, for his promise will endure. Because sure is gonna be my strength. Though the sorrow may last for the night, joy comes in the morning. Ah, I'm trading my sorrow, I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Say yes, Lord. You say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. One more time. I'm trading. I'm trading my sorrows, I'm trading my shame, I'm trading my shame. 
I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Trading my sickness, come on. I'm trading my sickness, trading my pain. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Say yes, Lord. You say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. I press. I'm pressed but not crushed, persecuted, not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. I'm blessed beyond the curse, for his promise will endure, for his joy is going to be my strength. Though the sorrow may last for the night, the joy comes in the morning. I'll trade in my sorrow, trading my pain, I'll trade in my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. La la la, la 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 Say hallelujah, hallelujah, halle, hallelujah, halle, 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 hallelujah, halle, hallelujah, halle, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Say yes, Lord, we say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, yes, Lord, amen. It's going to be to worship his name. Let's claim this and let's sing this song from our hearts. You are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. You are my hope. Hope like no. Hope like no other reaches to me. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your you lift me up. You lift me up. Unfailing love, stronger than mountains, deeper than. Reaches to me in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up, you 
lift me up. Yes, Lord, your love, oh Lord, your love, oh Lord, reaches to the heaven. Your faithfulness reaches to the Lord, your love, oh Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. You are my strength. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me, reaches to me, reaches Reaches to me. Father God, we thank you for your love and for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us together once again in this place of worship. Thank you for gathering us, Lord, through this Zoom online worship. I pray, Lord, that you would continue, Lord, to speak to us through this worship service. That you would unite all the hearts of your sojourners, Father God. Wherever they are right now, O oh Lord, I pray for all of us. That you would give us strength, Father, in whatever difficult circumstances that we are in right now. Father, I pray that through this worship service, you would send spiritual healing. That you would strength, send strength, spiritual strength to all of your sojourners. And that you will be with us from the beginning until the end of this worship service. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this morning. And we commit to you this online worship service. For all of the sojourners who are online right now and worshiping with us, would you bless us, O oh Lord? And even to those, Father God, who will watch the replay of this worship service, Father, would you bless them as well? We pray for Kesan Church, O oh Lord. As many ministries are starting to reopen in our, in our church, would you bless Kesson Church and all the leaders? We pray especially, Lord, for the English ministry as we continue to prepare for the reopening of our worship services in the church. Father God, bless all the leaders of the English ministry as well as, oh Lord, all the ministries of the foreign department. Next week, Father God, all the foreign department, the Filipino service, the Russian service, the Chinese service are opening. I pray, Father God, that you will be with us. Lord, as we look forward for the English worship service to reopen, Father, be with us. Bless all the preparations. Lord, every one of us is having a difficult time right now because of this pandemic, COVID-19, but I know, Lord, that you are with us. You filled us, Father God, with all of your blessings, all of your guidance. We celebrate all the answered prayers that you've given to us. And we thank you for all of them. We want to worship you, Lord, and we want to praise you. And we want to bless your name. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. And all the people of God say, Amen, 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 Amen. Let us turn into our scripture reading this morning. Our scripture reading will be found in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 7 to 18. I want us to unmute our microphone this time and let us read our scripture reading responsibly.
So I'm going to request everybody to unmute your microphone and let us read this, uh, our scripture reading for today responsibly. I'm going to read verse 7. You're going to read verse 8. And then on the last verse, verse uh, 18, we're going to read it all together. Me first. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 7 to 18. But we have these treasures in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Can you read verse 8? We are hard pressed on this side, and not crushed, perplexed, but not in this despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry in our body the death of Jesus, so the life of Jesus may also be driven by our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to uh, death alive. for Jesus' sake, so that his alive. life may be revealed in our mortal body. Verse 12. So then so death is in walking in us, life is in works in you. It is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. With that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus. With Jesus. And us with his presence. Amen. All this is for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far weighs them all. All together, let's read verse 18 together. So we keep the eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Not on what is seen. For what is temporary, what is unseen, eternal. eternal. Praise the Lord. We are still uh, on, their, on our sermon series titled Enduring Suffering. And today we are going to finish on this series. And for our sermon, I want us to wrap up, wrap up all the things that we have learned from this theme of enduring suffering. I can see Brother, <laughs> I can see brother uh, Atobo. <laughs> and Kupuka there. Long time no see, brother. <laughs> you. Yes. We are, our, we are still on our sermon series, Enduring Suffering. And today we are going to finish uh, this sermon series. And I want us to talk about us and walk us through all the things that we have learned and that we have studied from this, uh, from this sermon. Um, the first thing that we learned from... Uh, from this topic, from this series, is that uh, the reality of Christian suffering. We have learned that all the people of God, in spite of being righteous in the front of God because of the Lord Jesus, that doesn't excuse us from experiencing suffering and all kinds of tribulations and uh, trials on this world. And that would give us a lot of example from the Bible who were righteous, characters from the Bible who were righteous, but then again, in spite of their righteousness, being, uh, being good in the sight of God, they still experience uh, sufferings in this world. Okay? And one of the examples that we've learned before was Job. Job was a righteous man in front of God, but uh, despite of his righteousness, Still, God allowed him to be uh, to uh, to to experience so many kinds of sufferings and trials in his life to the extent of somehow uh, losing all his loved ones and losing all his belongings. And we can see that just like in the story of Job, okay, at the end of the all the sufferings that Job experienced, okay, through his life, God showed his power, and so in that. That the first thing that we've learned in this sermon series, Enduring Suffering, is this, yes, uh, suffering is real to all the followers of God. Suffering is real to all Christians. 
And in this, in its, in, in our suffering, in all this suffering that we are experiencing, God reveals Jesus and His saving work to the world. You see, through these sufferings, God is working in and through us, and that through this suffering, God reveals Himself to the people around us so that the people can also experience the saving power and the glorious work of the Lord Jesus. And so praise the Lord for the suffering. Praise the Lord for the reality of suffering that is among us, the children of God. We are called to suffer. And uh, there is already an encouragement there from the beginning of this passage that yes, even though we suffer, we suffer. We are hard-pressed, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but we need to always remember there's always an opposite of that. Okay, We are struck down, but we are not destroyed. And so we need to be willing to suffer. Okay, Many times it's very easy for us to complain why we need to suffer. But then again, uh, the Bible tells us in our passage that we need to to be willing to suffer because in our suffering, we carry in ourselves the humiliation of Jesus Christ. And in in this humiliation or in this, we experience humility of Jesus Christ in our lives and it's, it gets manifested, the humiliation and the humility of Christ is manifested in our lives as we suffer. And so people will see this and then as people see that Jesus Christ is in work in us, then people can also be influenced because of our suffering. So we need to be willing to suffering because uh, our willingness to suffer in the name of Christ should bring relief to others. And that's what verse 12 is saying to us. And so that's why in our suffering, God reveals Jesus and his saving work to the world. And that's what we learn. The first thing. The second thing that we learn in our, in our sermon series is that the hope in Christian suffering, and that is from verses 13 to 15, we have learned that, yes, there is hope in Christian suffering. Can everybody say that? There is hope in Christian suffering. Yes, and we can see and we have learned from verse 14 and verse 15 of our passage because we know it says that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise Jesus, raise us with Jesus and present us with you in his presence. This is our hope. This is the hope that we have. And this is what we call the resurrected Christ. The foundation of our hope is in the resurrected Christ. You see, Paul knows exactly what he's saying. He went through all of this kind of suffering because Paul knows and Paul tells us that suffering deepens faith and holiness. When we suffer, we experience more, uh, we practice more faith and we, we put more of our trust in the Lord as we suffer more. And so it, uh, as we suffer more, the more we uh, put our trust in the Lord and the more we strive to seek God's will. And you see, uh, it, it deepens our faith and our holiness. And so, uh, not only that, but in 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 the context of uh, in the context of uh, in uh, of a church where people needs to serve, where 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 the people of God needs to share their lives, share the testimony, or share the good news. You see, suffering is the price of making others bold. You see, as we as we uh, as we let others see how we deal with our sufferings. See, people are also encouraged. The people around us, our brothers and sisters in the church, as they see us go through and be victorious throughout this suffering, we encourage them. As what verse 15 is saying, all this is for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of the glory of God. You see, the more we suffer, the more we see the power of Christ, the power of God that is at work in our hearts. When we suffer, Jesus is the one who gives us the needed grace to endure. And at the end, we would conquer and we would be victorious in all this suffering that we have. And so that's why there is hope in Christian suffering. 
That's what we've learned. That's the second thing we've learned. Yes, there is. Uh, there is the, 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 We have to suffer. That is the reality. Uh, that uh, when it comes to Christian life, there is always suffering that comes. Uh, that comes to us. We should embrace this, and we should. Uh, uh, we should welcome all this suffering because through this suffering, God reveals His power through us and in us, and then. In this suffering, we can find hope because um, at the end of all this suffering, we see the, the victory that we have in Jesus, especially showing us that, yes, uh, we have the resurrection. We have the promised glory for all of us as we, uh, as we suffer in this world. There is an end. And so that's why this is the third thing that we have learned aside from the hope that we have in the midst of uh, Christian suffering. The third thing that we, that we learned is the encouragement. This is the thing that we've learned, and we've learned this last Sunday. The encouragement during Christian suffering. And this is found in the last part of the passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. The encouragement during Christian suffering. And we have learned if we can read this together, if you can read this with you, we have learned the main lesson when it comes to the encouragement is this. In your suffering, we need to be encouraged. We need to not lose heart because your suffering is temporary and we need to look into eternity. This is what we've learned last week. Okay, It's very easy to lose heart in these times of suffering, but uh, we were encouraged. Because during the last part of this passage, it tells us very clearly, do not lose heart because inwardly, inside us, there is a power that is, that is at work, okay? That though inwardly, I mean, though outwardly we are wasting away, that's what it says in verse 16, but yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day it can be physically tiring brothers and sisters there are so much things that are happening around the world that uh, that uh, causes us to that causes us to suffer there are so many trials that we need to face but you see we need to be encouraged because even though outside we are wasting away but inside we have the power so that in each day our strength is renewed to face to face all kinds of sufferings and all kinds of suffering so in our suffering we need to be encouraged because not only that um, we have the power inside that makes us strong to face all this suffering but also we need to be encouraged and we need to remember that all this suffering is temporary and that's what it says in verse 17 our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us far uh, an eternal glory that far outweighs them all and we need to remember that. We've learned that last week, that suffering is light compared to Christian's eternal glory. And so it ends. It is not forever. But what we have as forever is the promise of God that is waiting in us. And we need to be encouraged because of that. Do not lose heart because your suffering, our suffering is temporary. We need to look into Jesus. We need to focus into eternity. We need to focus on the things that are above. We need to focus on the things that are godly, that is heavenly, because those things will last forever and we will have our reward. And so that's why that's the big encouragement that we yeah. have. That's the third thing and final thing that we have learned. You see, brothers and sisters, we cannot really know the depth of our character until we see how we react under pressure. It is easy to be kind to others when everything is going well, but can we still be kind when others are treating us unfairly? God wants to make us mature and complete, not to keep us from all pain. Instead, uh, so instead of complaining about our struggles, we should see them as an opportunity for growth. And through this suffering, we grow deeper in our walk in the Lord, in our faith in the Lord. There are so many kinds of sufferings that we are in right now. And, uh, and we have other troubles that we need to face. 
and it's more difficult to and it's more difficult to face them because we are in this what we call a uh, global pandemic we are in the midst of this covid-19 we suffer in our finances we suffer in our job we suffer in our studies in our relationships in our personal problems we have our personal problems we also need to suffer we also need to suffer because of them you see uh, the church today is is facing so much persecutions from the world the morality and faith of its christians are being challenged by liberalism and all kinds of social issues we need to face all of these sufferings in the world but you see brothers and sisters as we read in verse 8 in our passage this morning what does it say in the in verse 8 in our passage this morning it says in verse 8 <clears throat> we are hard pressed on every side but not crushed it says there we are perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned struck down but not destroyed we have to remember We have to remember this wonderful promise that we can have, wonderful hope and encouragement that we can have from this passage in the midst and in spite of all the sufferings that we are facing. Thank God, brothers and sisters, for He promised us to be with us in, during these rough times. And let us all ask Him to solve your problems or to give you the strength to endure them. And we need to be patient. And let's remember, God will not leave you alone. with your problems he will stay close and yes he will help you grow until finally we are with him face to face in that eternal glory this is the word of the lord for all of us and we end our sermon series on enduring suffering and all the people of god say amen 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 let us um uh have our response song as we close our worship service this morning and let's sing the song you are my strength when i am weak my strength you are my strength when i am weak you are the treasure that i see you are my all in seeking you as a precious jewel lord to give up my real i have to be a tool Taking my sin, my cross, my shame. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame. Rising again, I bless Your name. You're my all in all. When I fall down, when I fall down, You pick me up. When I am down, You my God. You're my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, 
Jesus, Lamb of God, sing it. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful messages that you have heard, that we have heard that came from you today. Father God, I pray that this message from you, Lord, will continue to grow in our hearts and that we will continue to apply this in our lives. Thank you for all the sufferings that you allowed us to experience. Thank you for the hope that we can find in you. And thank you, Lord, for all the encouragement that you have given to us. We thank you, Lord, and we praise your name. Continue to bless all the sojourners and all the members of our English ministry. We love you, Lord, and we give you glory. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon us all now and forevermore. And all the people of God say, Amen. 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 ends our worship service this morning thank you very much for joining us today we still have few minutes few seconds left in our zoom session but yes for all the good news that we have congratulations first and foremost to Tolly for finishing and for um, uh, for the success of his oral of her oral defense yesterday and uh, let's continue to pray for one another we have some of our members with us today we have mj with us Nico Jess, thank you for joining us we have uh, atobo and um, ato joining us with kupuka and then of course we have my family thank you very much guys for joining us today and i hope we can have you uh again next week and god bless everybody goodbye everyone we'll see you later Bye. Bye. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> See you later, guys. See you later.